Vibrant with the flow, why y'all still so elementary? About to shoot another scene for our show called Black Gentry. Language, yeah, language. So, when we look at language in today's, uh, in 2017, the internet, in my opinion, is the biggest universal language. Mm-hmm. It's, it, it has connected everything to everybody in the blink of an eye in an instant. And a personal uh, uh, thing that I have with language was was recently last year learning to, to speak from a language of manufacturing and engineering. Um, I'm developing a, 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 a certain product that I want to bring to market. And it takes me having to speak to engineers. It takes me having to speak to manufacturers. It takes me having to speak to uh, lawyers. And if you don't have a sense of the lingo and what they're explaining to you, and you can't rebuttal in an efficient way to get your needs put across, you know, you don't want to be illiterate in something that you're passionate about. Mm -hmm. Like, if you care about something, take the time to learn the language. Take the time to become fluent in what you do. Be able to talk the talk and speak uh, what you want effectively and clearly to get what you need. You know what I'm saying? So... I want you guys to speak about some of the languages that you had to learn to oh, speak. You know, I had to speak that computer language. <laughs> <laughs> I had to, like, um, when we were uh, pretty much developing, de- developing anything, but we were developing apps and stuff. Um, you had to have that lingo because we were dealing with people overseas, and I don't know. Sometimes people, you know, they you deal with people in overseas, they think that you slow or <laughs> dumb. I'm going to just keep it real, you know? And Stupid when, yeah. American. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so so when they say, oh, you know, we use this compression da, 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 for your app, and you told them another compression, you're like, yo, look, I told you this for a reason, and once you start breaking stuff down, that's when they'll be like, oh, okay, he's not, he's, he knows, he knows, he knows, he knows, the, he so, knows the language. So once you start talking, you know, other people's language, whether it's, you know, products or brick land or whatever the case may be, you can't be fooled. Mm, that's a great point. When you know the language, people can't speak over you and try to put one over on you and tell you, oh, this cost this, this cost that. If you can speak and know the language, it's harder for somebody to take advantage of you. Absolutely. You know, And that goes for speaking a different language in another country. Yeah. You're less likely to be lured into that back alley if you heard the guy say, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's so weird, you know, in their language, and, you know, but when you don't know the language, you just freely going where, wherever somebody takes you. I mean, your chances of getting taken advantage of skyrocket, yeah. you know, what? so, yeah, like, like you were saying, it's like different types of languages, like there's, within English, there's different dialects, there's right. like computer language, right. all that's in English, but it's like a whole nother yeah. realm, it's a whole nother world. I mean, so the, I feel like the the most important part is just like submerging. Like you gotta submerge yourself in in that. Like I took, I feel like, for example, I took Spanish from second grade to eleventh grade, mm. but I still feel like I cannot like understand speak. it. I, I can I can <laughs> you speak understand like, it. Like I understand like if somebody was speaking full out Spanish to me, I pick out like five <laughs> or six words out of right. what they're saying and try to like use context cues, mm. but I really don't get it. Like whereas like. Uh, we were talking about earlier. Uh, you you were planning to take a trip to China, and I was like, I wonder how long you would it, it would take you to learn Chinese if you were actually just a part of the culture. Mm-hmm. Even though English is like a, a second language throughout right. the world, everybody you probably could get by on speaking English. Right. But if you were to immerse yourself in the culture, you would it probably wouldn't take you. It take probably less than a year before you would be yeah. speaking Chinese. Yeah. Whereas I took. Spanish from second grade to eleventh grade. I can't say nothing. Or like, one more yeah. stop. That's it. That's a, Spanish. That's basically English. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that's a, that's a great point. Like immersion. You know what I'm saying? Being immersed mm-hmm. in a culture and picking up the language of what it is that culture has to offer. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think the final thing that I want to leave on language is, um. Whatever you're passionate about, whatever you love, take some time to immerse yourself in it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Put yourself in classes. Get around people that do it. 
whatever it is that you want to speak fluently, immerse yourself in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be afraid. Put yourself in an uncomfortable situation and and, and start to understand what it is to, to sink or swim in that culture. And I think pretty soon you'll be speaking the language just as well as the natives, you mm-hmm. know, if not better, because you bring a whole nother culture to that to their culture. Classes yeah. can only get you but so far. Like mm-hmm. when I graduated from school, I felt like, all right, like how do I apply this to like the real world? Because they they teach you a little bit of this, a little bit of that. A little, I, and I just felt like if I would have just skipped this whole experience and just went and immersed myself in whatever I wanted to do, whether it be writing or whatever, blah, blah, blah. I would have had a, a head up because I would have something actual to give, like give the people mm-hmm. and say, yeah, I, I'm, this I've been doing the work. Right. Like, yeah, I, is, yeah. I have experience doing it. I know what I'm doing because I would, I would have immersed myself in that. You know? yeah. Thank you for tuning in to black gentry. Catch us next time when we discuss something else permeating in society. Thank you. Hey guys, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment below. Until next time, this is Miles Brown signing off for Black Gentry. Hope to see you on the next one. Senate Cleaning has been keeping commercial and government properties clean, on budget, and without the worry. We're bonded, insured, and government certified. That means you get professional results the first time, guaranteed. Call 301-996-6110 for a free no-obligation estimate. That's 301-996-6110. Or visit senatecleaning.com. That's S-E-N-A-T-E cleaning.com.